hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well as you can tell from the title today we're going to be talking about a big subject it's how to conceal the under eye circles everyone whoever you may be at one point will suffer from under eye circles either due to tiredness or hereditary like mine or any sort of reason and everyone likes to be able to conceal them. You don't have to conceal them. I don't conceal them most of the time when I'm out and about. But if you want to be able to conceal them, please keep watching. So to get started, before you even apply any makeup on your face, make sure that the area under your eye is always hydrated. It's very sensitive. The skin is really, really thin. So try and not rub anything on it. Try and be very gentle around the, around the area. Keep it always hydrated use something like the clinique pre prep i've just got like a sample pro and this is really good you can use those collagen under eye masks the keels uh, under eye cream is really really nice as well so you have quite a lot of options for under eye circles um, so try and take care of your under eye circles as much as you can you can get fine lines so you can use creams for that so the point is just make sure you take care of your skin Makeup is meant to enhance it, but skincare is really, really the key here. Um, so I'm going to be sharing three techniques. So let's jump into number one. So number one is to use an orange tone corrector. I know lots of people like to use like a pink base corrector, but for me personally and for the brides that I've worked with or like the Asian clients that I've had, orange correctors always work really really well now i'm sure you can find lots of lots of videos of like the color wheel theory and how to counteract colors and stuff like that you can watch several videos of that but um orange concealers have always worked for me uh this in particular is the la girl pro concealer in the color orange so i usually apply that under the eyes um, pat it with my ring finger or even use a beauty blender then go in with my favorite concealer on top of that and I find that this is the most effective way to kind of get rid of my under eye circles really quickly really effectively um, and they don't start creeping back after a while because I feel like some in some concealers they start fading away um, and the darkness starts creeping back but I love using orange concealers um, I'll be doing a blog post with my favorite correctors and concealers, so please check the link in the description down below. Um, technique number two is to use a concealer that is your own shade but has a bit of an orange tint to it. So I use the SMAC one in NC42. And as you can tell, it's definitely more orange, but when I put it under my eyes, it kind of conceals and it doesn't look that orange and it counteracts the darkness straight away. So I just take some of this and pat it around my eye. Um, let it dry a little bit, get, let it get a bit tacky. Use my beauty blender. If I need to go in with another layer, then I'll go in with another layer, let it get tacky and then pat it with a beauty blender. And there you go. So using a concealer that has a bit of an orange tint. The third way you can do it is by using a really, really high coverage product. So this is the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And this is extremely thick. It's very, very, very opaque. You need a tiny bit. And the makeup, my makeup artist actually used it on my wedding day. Um, so you just take a tiny bit of this and then you put it on your under eye. With something so heavy, with any concealer that's so heavy, you need to make sure that you really, really hydrate under the eyes. Try and kind of keep like, you know, those gel masks under the eye for maybe like half an hour before you apply this because this makes your under eye appear very dry if you don't use it correctly or you don't set it correctly. So using something like this is actually really good but also it comes with a few disadvantages and is a little bit harder to work with. Uh, but it works really well on brides for someone who wants a very high coverage for a very long amount of time and for it to look really good in pictures. This works really well. So yeah, this is the third and final way. After you've, whatever technique that you use, 
always make sure that you set your under eyes. Set it with a really finely milled powder and the one that I like is One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. I usually use it with a beauty blender, just tap it and then just set it under the eye. This works really, really well. I really like using a damp beauty blender for this because I feel like it's the final step that makes sure that there's no creasing under the eyes that the concealer doesn't go anywhere, it lasts all day and most of all it does not set into my fine lines. I have quite a few fine lines and when I do this with a wet beauty blender it always stays put. When I use it with just any brush it goes everywhere, you can see it, I have to kind of like redo it after a while or re-pat it in but wet beauty blender powder and you're good for the whole day. So I hope you found that video helpful Please make sure to comment, like and subscribe and let me know what your favourite concealers are in the comments down below. I hope you have a nice week. Bye.